Did you know that you can upcycle string lights into a magical light table that your little one will play with for years to come? I'm Rachel. And I'm Annie. And we are the founders and educators behind Elemento Play, a read and play book club designed to help children fall in love with reading through play. In this video, we are going to help you create and play with one of our very favorite open-ended tools, the DIY light table. This beautifully illuminated play is both soothing and exciting and sure to captivate your little one for hours and hours on end. What kind of learning happens through play with a light table? First, observation. Children enhance their powers of observation as they look at items more closely on a light table. Having that isolated object, getting a chance to explore it up close in fine detail and see all the little pieces really helps to train their eye and helps to train them to think about looking more closely at the object at hand. When playing on a light table, children often experience a really calming, peaceful learning experience. Visually, it can help them feel very settled and it can help them focus their attention on one detail. When you add in sensory materials like salt, whipped cream or shaving cream, and Play-Doh, you're combining two of the most important learning facilities that children have, their visual acuity and also their tactile senses. So by isolating those two senses and really focusing on quietly looking and intently touching and feeling and moving things with your fingers, the learning is endless. Finally, playing on a light table is quite obviously an incredible scientific experience. Children will play with color and light, cause and effect. They can mix colors and studying different variations of light and shadow. It is the most magical introduction into scientific learning that we can possibly think of. Here's everything that you'll need to make your very own DIY light table. All you need is a large, clear container, but you can also use an under the bed shoe box or storage bin. The most important thing is that it is clear because you're gonna be sending the light through it. Once you have your box, you're next going to need some string lights. If you don't have the string lights on hand, not to worry, you can use a bunch of different flashlights or the puck lights, really any type of light source will work. Next, you'll need some tin foil. The tin foil will be used to line the bottom of your box and make the light even brighter. And finally, you're going to need a piece of either wax paper or tissue paper that will be used to diffuse the light so that it spreads evenly so that when your child is learning and playing on the light table, they have an even and bright source of light. And this whole activity should take you about five minutes to put together. All right, let's get started building our light table. Step one, we're gonna line the underside of our bin's lid with some wax paper or tissue paper in order to help diffuse the light. So we're gonna need our scotch tape. I like to use double-sided and we're going to need our piece of paper. I actually cut ours beforehand just to make it a little bit easier to show you. Voila, that's it. Next step. We're gonna take our tin foil and just lay it in the bottom of our box. You could tape it down if you wanted to, but you really don't need to. The whole purpose of the tin foil is to create another source of light. Your twinkle lights will reflect even brighter with the tin foil inside your box. This is the exciting part. All of our string lights, place them in the box. If you have flashlights or puck lights, you'll turn those on right away. If you use string lights like we do, you're gonna kind of string a little bit of the light out the side of the box and then close the box. Don't worry, it's not gonna hurt the string lights and it's definitely not gonna have any impact on your light table. And now the fun part, are you ready? All right, here we go. We're gonna turn on our brand new light table. Voila, your very own light table. And something that's amazing about making one this size, you can have this tucked in your child's room and take it out anytime. It's Fabulous for right before bed for some quiet play. It's always available. You made it in five minutes and the learning benefits are incredible. All right, our first play activity is called In the Spotlight. The most important thing you'll need is your brand new DIY light table. So we've got that. And the next thing you'll, you're gonna need to do is build a collection of items with your child to explore on the light table. As you search your home for basic things you may have on hand, consider different shape, color, size, opacity. Um, so here you can see we've grabbed 
three different colored glasses. We have some different colored and shaped hair curlers. We've got some few natural items here in our collection. So again, a variety of things you and your child can gather together and then use this new playscape to explore in a brand new way. So we would recommend once you have your materials gathered, just watch your child, invite them to explore slowly but surely, kind of placing these elements on and seeing what they can see. And if you are the grown up in the room or if anybody else is, you can also facilitate this play by asking all kinds of questions, super open-ended, things that start with, I wonder if, or what do you think, or what will you do next? It will really kind of help them get excited. It's hard for me even now not to kind of dive in. No, no it's not for kids, it's not for restraint, restraint, we're grown ups. Are we? You can play with it as soon as I put it on. Yep. Our next activity is called a light touch. This activity is all about combining the tactile sensory experience with the visual sensory experience of your brand new beautiful light table. So there are all kinds of sensory materials that you can use on your light table like sand or slime, even flour. We're gonna show you three ways that you can play with sensory materials and we're gonna tell you a little bit about the benefits of playing with those materials on the light table. So to start, we have a little bit of salt in this tray. We purposely chose salt instead of sugar so that your little one won't want to eat it. When you place it on the light table in this container so that it won't spill all over everywhere, you can practice making lines and pictures. It reminds me a little bit of one of those Etch-a-Sketches. After you're done making the lines, you can shake it smooth to erase it and then make some more lines. It's incredibly calming. It's kind of like playing with a Zen garden. We have whipped cream. You can also use shaving cream. It's super, super fun sensory experience. Spray it right on your light table. It's plastic. You can wipe it off and practice making lines or handprints or shapes. So much fun. Such a good time for everyone. And last of all, of course, Play-Doh because Play-Doh is the best. You can put your Play-Doh on your light table, spread it out really thin, make balls, make shapes, run your fingers through it, touch it, feel it, look at it. You're gonna have an amazing time with all of these sensory materials on your light table. All right, our final play activity is called I See Your True Colors Shining Through. This is gonna involve your artistic side, again, really exploring materials, observing them, and moving through different trial and error and experimentation to really explore, again, regular materials that you usually use, but on a new surface. So we have kind of two ways to play here. What you need is, a collection of different kinds of tissue paper, fabrics, anything you kind of want to explore. You can lay them out, you can design them. Your child will definitely be curious to explore the different colors, the ways that it interacts when they're layered upon each other. Um, a way to turn this into a little bit more of a permanent art fixture is we will oftentimes offer a piece of wax paper that you can put down first on top of your light table. You might wanna tape it down, it might be fine just as is. And that way you can be using your glue stick and actually gluing on your items uh, so that at the end you have a finished product and you can even hang it up in your window, another light source and kind of explore how that changes throughout the day as well. Sort of your very own stained glass window. Exactly. All right, so those are our three ways to play with your brand new light table. And at Elemento Play, we always love to pair our play with great books. So here we have three amazing ones that we think pair beautifully with this light table play and that can extend and make those connections between reading and play. Our first book is The Night Walk by Marie d'Orléans. This story tells the adventure of one family's nighttime adventure, walking through the town, up a mountain, in the dark, discovering all kinds of beautiful sensory details and finally watching the sun rise. If you're curious about this book, you can also get it through our book club and it will come with all kinds of light and play adventures like the one that we did today. Next, we have What is Light by Marquette Shepard. This sweet little board book is a very loving little family narrative that talks about all the different ways that we can think about light, both light that we see outside, like fireflies and stars, and the light that we feel inside when we feel love. Finally, we have Flashlight by Lizzie Boyd. 
This fabulous wordless picture book follows the story of a small child who walks through the forest, illuminating little details with his flashlight. This book is so much fun to read with your child. You can invite them to tell the story and see all the details that are illuminated and those that are hiding in the shadows. Each of these books makes a wonderful pairing for the play that we shared with you today. So today we showed you how to create your very own simple DIY light table at home and three different ways that you can use this new light source almost as a new playscape for all different kinds of play with things you already have at home. Some of the benefits that we explored today include, of course, honing those observational skills, being able to have an immersive sensory experience and experimentation with all different kinds of elements of science here on your very own light table. If you enjoyed this experience, learning all about different ways to connect learning and play, please head over to elementoplay.com and you can join our book club where we share lots of different ideas like these ones with beautiful picture books as shown and send it every month to your doorstep. Also, if you wanna see more content like this where we're sharing different ideas and tips with you and content for your children where we're engaged in lots of fun read and play activities, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming video content. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.